in this country where we're essentially consumers everybody wants to one-up everyone else so just say for example I want to buy a brand new car I know I don't need a new car and I would rather buy investments stocks index funds stuff like that or a new phone I, I could buy a new phone my phone's like three years old that's still working it's fine my my laptop I, I want the latest and greatest but I know I don't need it and I actually get a good laptop from my work not that I could do personal stuff on it because my work laptop is for work purposes only um, I, I want to buy a bigger TV not that I would need it because I honestly don't watch TV that often and it, it's good to be a minimalist like buy the things that you need and the, the things that you value the most so just say for example my my car I'll buy the best parts for it and I will work on it personally I would make sure that it gets the best oil everything's up to date because I value that tool in my life I get joy out of it versus may, maybe my shoes I, I don't necessarily care about my shoes I should care about my shoes because you know I, I walk I walk in them a lot I run in them so you should invest in good shoes but don't don't necessarily buy thousands of shoes right <laughs> buy, buy a couple good pairs that they, that you can use hiking shoes running shoes dress shoes um, whatever may make sure you're you're buying things that are valuable to you things that add value to your life instead of maybe buying some things so that other people can look at you because ju just say for example well would you would you rather look well off having you know nice clothes and no investments no money in a bank account or would you rather look average and and have you know investments have have money have opportunities going for you and it's more about what you think versus what other people think live, live, live your life so that it suits you and so that it's not suiting someone else pay yourself first in terms of investments may make sure you're investing every month make sure you're taking care of your nutrition your sleep your diet your education your hygiene make sure you you have good fashion if you can may make sure you take care of your skin your teeth um, your environment so just say for example i noticed that females they like candles they like pictures um, for the home make sure you have like nice towels soap air freshener stuff like that um, they, these are things that I don't value but I know that they value them and um, if, if you can make them feel more comfortable then why not and and also for for my car just say for example if I was gonna go on a, a outing or an event I will wash it inside outside I would make sure that all of the fluids are good, the brakes, the tire pressure. I would make sure the lug nuts are tight. Basic maintenance. I would make sure that, you know, I have good tags. <laughs> I would make sure that I'm, I'm not necessarily, you know, breaking the law while, while I'm driving or, or speeding too much. I would make sure that I have an air freshener in my car, a charger for them. Make sure you clean your mirrors because they're going to check their mirrors. Make sure you clean your windows. You know, if, if your car is dirty, they're not going to like it. So, and, and I actually, I actually like when my car is clean. I, I, I take care of it. If, if you take care of it, I will take care of you. At, at your crib, you, you could, you know, while wash your sheets, make sure everything's clean. Your bathroom, your mirrors, your windows, all of that, your floors. Make sure you clean everything, even the walls. You, you don't want cobwebs or, or dust or anything like that. Um, another thing for uh, for guys is like shoes. Make sure you, you have nice shoes because they value shoes. Make sure you get a good fragrance because they value that. Make sure you cut your hair, your shape. Make sure that you're, you're just looking the best that you can be. Make sure that you educate yourself so that you have stuff to talk about you're interesting 
Um, try, try and be fun. Um, try and give a good experience. Essentially try and leave them better off than they were. Um, it, it, it would just give you a, a good foundation so that in the future you, you would know how to act, how to behave, how, how to treat people. And it, it all goes back to energy because if, if you're treating people bad, then you will get it back to its karma. So uh, treat, treat everybody better than you would want to be treated essentially. Well, when you're going out, make sure that you're, you're planning fun things to do. Make sure you know specifically what you want to do because the, the other person, they're not necessarily going to want to make decisions. They're, they're just want, going to want to sit back. You're, you're the entertainer, essentially. May make it fun, plan, plan things out. You, you could go to a, to a beach. You, you could bring a blanket, you know, bring picnic stuff, whatever, right? You, you could have a photo shoot. You, you could go for a hike. Um, do do coffee. So, sometimes they they don't even ask you to buy them anything. They they just want to talk to you. And there were a couple of times when um, I went out and they they just wanted to ask me about fitness or <laughs> they they wanted to ask me about my culture or or so, something you know something about me that, that they they just wanted to learn something from me. And and it's all good. It's a part of the process. So sometimes it, it hurts when 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 you're when you're over invested in, in somebody and and you you give them a lot of meaning. And in life you're gonna fail and you you will fail at all all aspects in life, whether it's love, your finances, your your personal professional careers. You, you have to be able to take the hits and get up essentially and, and to be able to move on. And they, these are things that they're, they're not necessarily easy. Sometimes problems will take years to, uh, to be resolved and so, sometimes there isn't a cure. Like for example, my mother, she left me when I was a kid. I'll probably never get over that. I'll probably always feel that void I would always feel sad about it, but it, it's the level of sadness that I'm trying to mitigate. And I'm, I'm trying to, uh, to let go. Yeah.